It's time for a new episode of my favorite YouTube series, New and Must Have Crafty Supplies, where I scour the internet for new card making supplies that I want to try out, and then I share the ones that I love with you. Today's episode is a special episode because I am going to be sharing five tools that were new this year that I am absolutely in love with. Some of these tools were sent to me, most of them I bought myself, but I'll be sure to share which ones were sent to me and which ones I bought myself. Also, I have a big giveaway for US subscribers. So at the end of the video, be sure you listen to all of the rules and guidelines for entering the giveaway. I have full length videos about each of these tools. So I'll also list in the YouTube description box under the video, those links to those videos. So you can check out more information if you want. This first tool I bought for myself and it is the Spellbinders Better Press system. And the reason that I purchased it is because I have tried letterpress in the past and been really disappointed with how difficult it was and how messy it was. So let me share a few things about the Better Press that make it totally different from anything I've ever tried before. The Spellbinders Better Press system includes a magnetic platform. There are Better Press plates and ink pads made to go with the system. The clear platform has guidelines for the specialty paper and the ink pads are easy to use on the plates. The magnetic platform holds them in place and you can ink up each plate in a different color. I've tried much more difficult and messier letterpress options and the Better Press is by far the easiest and least messy way to create intricate, beautiful letterpress designs. And the platform will go right through your platinum machine from Spellbinders or your Big Shot. So look at how amazing and detailed the impression is and the ink transfers beautifully as well. So the simple steps are place the plates on the magnet, ink it up, place the cardstock on the clear and tape it in place, then put those together and they magnetize together and run them through your die cut machine. And these are the results. I am blown away and I love this system. You may have seen my toner foiled videos in the past, and I've always used a really cheap laminator to get my effects, and I thought that was the best that you could achieve until Pink and Main sent me their new mini mink. So that is another favorite tool this year for me. Let's check out some of the real great highlights of the Pink and Main mini mink. The Pink and Main mini mink has five different levels of heat and you can switch to a higher number by pressing the gold button multiple times. The instruction manual will tell you which level you need for different project types. Pink and Main offers many toner based designs and foils to use with them. The Mini Mink works well even with very intricate toner designs. Pink and Main also offers colorful toner sheets that you can use the leftover foil on the sheet to transfer to the new colorful toner sheet. This allows you to get two different designs from one piece of foil and there's absolutely no waste because you're using it all up until it's perfectly clear. I found that the transfer is absolutely perfect every single time. So in my other video, I do it several times so that you can see that each time I'm getting a perfect result. You can also use the mini mink to transfer foil to adhesive transfers like sentiments. Next up is the Altenew stamp wheel. I haven't shared this in a video yet, but you'll be seeing it in an upcoming video for sure. This is a tool that I bought for myself because I saw it on Instagram and wanted to have it. <laughs> so let me share some of the benefits of stamping with the Altenew stamp wheel. The Altenew stamp wheel comes in this beautiful box. There's an instruction sheet and there is a clear, 
polymer type of pad that goes inside the stamp wheel. There's also a clear acrylic for the top and there are little suction cups on the bottom so that it will stay straight on your work surface. You can see that I have a stamp from Altenew placed in the center of the stamp wheel. There's a cross in the center of the stamp and there's a cross in the center of the cover plate. I also have an enamel dot placed on one edge of that clear plate and that tells me when I need to rotate which direction I should go or where the starting point was if I always start with the enamel dot on the bottom. So what the stamp wheel does specifically for layering stamps like this is that Altenew has now created the bunch of layers in one stamp and all you have to do is rotate and ink up the next image. So there's no lining up the stamps on top of each other. You don't have to worry about lining up little teeny tiny white open spaces to make sure that your image comes out perfect. The stamp itself is fully aligned for you. And all you do is rotate that cover, that acrylic cover on the front. So you can see I'm stamping up the second layer and now I will flip it over and stamp it down. And it goes exactly where it's supposed to. So for me, this is genius because no matter how easy a layering stamp is, I always struggle with it. So I will definitely be trying out more of these Altenew layering flower stamps that have all the layers on one stamp. Recently, Waffle Flower sent me their whole line of grip mats and I fell absolutely in love. I think they are such a cool tool. I did an entire video talking about them, how to use them, how to choose a size, all of that. And I'll link to that down in the YouTube description box under the video. But for now, let's just take a look at these grip mats from Waffle Flower and how cool they are. If you like the idea of having things stuck in place while you're working on them, the Waffle Flower grip mats are perfect for you. They come in a variety of sizes. You can get one that fits perfectly inside the mini misty you'll take out your mouse pad or the foam pad and then place the grip mat right inside there are guideline pieces that will help you line up your stamps on your paper and then that paper without a magnet and not even tucked into the corner will stamp perfectly i really like this eight and a half by eight and a half grip mat i place it right on my glass mat work surface and then and it holds die cuts and stencils in place on top of those die cuts. So you can see, even though my left hand is there holding it, it's not holding it in place. It is just where I'm resting my hand and I get the perfect stenciling every single time because it's not sliding around at all. Even though I am really ink blending pretty aggressively here and each time I pull up the stencil you can see that none of the color is getting underneath. That is because the grip mat in all the open places of the die cut and around the die cut is holding it in place. Now the grip mats are a high grade photopolymer that is the same as stamps. So you can use water to clean them off with Distress Oxide inks. Some of your other inks may stain, but usually you can clean it with any kind of stamp cleaner because it is just like your clear stamp. So anything you would feel comfortable cleaning that with, you can clean the grip mat with as well. Many of you know I was late to get on the hot foil system bandwagon, and once I did, I fell in love with the Spellbinders Glimmer Machine. I decided to purchase the new Spellbinders Glimmer Machine, or the latest iteration of it, and I wanted to share with you that I really do love it. This is something that I bought for myself because I wanted it, and I think it's really worth it. So let's take a look at the new Spellbinders Glimmer Machine and why I'm glad that I upgraded. The new Glimmer Machine comes with all of the same types of pieces that the old Glimmer Machine came with. That means if you have an old Glimmer Machine, do you need a new one? No, absolutely not. But I am very tough on my machine. I had really started to work it to the point where it wasn't heating up fast enough. And my favorite part is what I just shared with you. It is really easy to pull the platform out of the base. I think the plug is a little different and 
for me, that was enough to really make this worthwhile purchase for me. So you made it to the giveaway portion of the video. For US subscribers, I'm sorry, I need to keep it in the US because these boxes are big and heavy. I have three, count them, three priority mail large boxes of items that I have to give away because I'm running out of space back here. <laughs> so if you are interested in entering the giveaway and if you have a US address, there will be a Google form underneath this video inside the YouTube description box. So you'll fill out the form and in a week's time, I will draw a winner from those answers and email that winner. I will not be commenting down below with a winner. Please, please do not respond to spammers. Sometimes they steal what looks like my name, but it has numbers after it. Sometimes they steal my photo, but I will never ask you for your phone number. I will never ask you for money. So please, please, please hear me with these spammers. They are out of control, but we will have the giveaway drawn in a week and I'll email the winner and then announce their first name and last initial here. But anyone can comment below and let me know what your favorite tool was from this video. I'd love to hear. As always, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. But I'll be sure to show, but I'll be sure to sure, sure to sure, <laughs> seashells by the seashore. <laughs>